Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to discuss about the step by step process of downloading and installing CubeSuit Plus IDE for program development activities in Renesis RL78 series microcontroller. Let's get started. So go to the web and type in CubeSuit software. And in the first link right over here, just move to the renesis.com. In this renesis.com, you can clearly see first description says CS plus for CC version 8.09. So this is the one that you want to install in your PC. So scroll down a little bit, you can see just click on this and click on confirm. So in this page you just want to create your own account just click on this register and register to this website so that you can log in and download the software for free. I am just logging in. I have already created my account so I just logged in with my email account and password. You can see my account has been logged in right over here and now I can directly download the software. Just click on this link in the download section of the page and click on confirm you will get the software downloaded once you click on the accept and download in the next tab in this tab that is popping out just click on accept and download you can see the software has started downloading in my pc so the downloading is almost done yes it is completed now go to the folder where it has been downloaded in your pc and this is the downloaded zip file just extract this zip file and before starting the installation process just turn on the internet in your pc it will get some stuffs downloaded during the installation so double click on this cc plus pack installer right over here So in the readme you can clearly see this is CS plus for CC common program version 8.09 RH850 series microcontrollers RX microcontrollers RL78 series microcontrollers. So three compilers are available in this program you can just directly install it. Now double click on this CubeSuit plus for CC package version 8.0.9 click on yes. So in this first tab just click on this agree and click on next button and here you can select or deselect the programs that you want. For the first time just select all the programs let it get installed in your PC for the first time. Later if you don't require you can also move to the control panel and you can uninstall the individual components in your PC. You can see the installation has started just want to wait here a bit for installation to complete you can see each of the packages that we selected in the previous tab is getting installed one by one so now it is prompting for installing the device software for usb ports just click on this install button just left click on this install 
you can see the setup is complete click finish to exit settings all installations were completed successfully once you receive this message that means all the packages that you selected in the previous tab was installed successfully on your pc just uncheck this launch update manager and click on finish now just type in cs plus in your search bar you will get this software just open it let me just cross verify whether all the packages has been installed in my pc so the software has been installed that is the integrated development environment kubesuit plus for embedded systems has been installed in my pc so this is the first uh, tab in the project just click on project create new project so the microcontroller that i am going to work on is in the first tab i just want to select the microcontroller r5f10 ppj so this is the microcontroller that i am going to work on i am just going to create a dummy project here so that i am going to some other folder creating a new folder and giving the project name to be pro and click on create for creating the project for that particular microcontroller you can clearly see the code generator has arrived right over here in the project tree you can clearly see the code generator design tool has arrived which means the code generator has also been installed in your pc for rl78 series microcontroller since we configured for rl78 series in the previous tab and along with that we have a pin configurator and the file explorer and also right click on this debug tool and hover over using debug tool you can clearly see all the device drivers for all the emulators ic iec ube e2 e2 lite e1 e20 ez emulator has been installed you can select whatever emulator you want to use right over here that's it so we will see how to configure a project and how to work on each and every peripheral of the microcontroller with the help of this code generator in the upcoming videos so for now i hope you will download and install this software successfully with the help of this video in your pc see you in the next video thanks for watching